There is a small gift shop in Kensington that one of our directors happened to visit over the holidays and then came back with glowing reviews. He said, you got to check this place out. So we did. It's called the Dragonfly Home and Gift Shop, and boy, does it have a lot to offer. If you're looking for a special occasion gift for someone or maybe a little something for yourself, this might be the place for you. Take, Take a, a look. look. Don't you just love a good gift shop? I know I do. And the Dragonfly Home and Gift Store in Kensington certainly fits the bill. Meet Tracy Shipman. She's the owner of the gift shop that opened in May of last year. Where did the name Dragonfly come from? I've always just kind of loved dragonflies. They um, basically are inspiration, creativity, um, a new beginning. Mm -hmm. So I liked that idea because for me this was a new beginning. What, what did you do before this? Um, for 15 years, I was in the restaurant business. Wanting to try something new, Tracy went to work in a nursery in town, opening a gift shop for them. Something she'd always dreamed of, but... They closed down last year, oh. so I decided it was time to do it on my own. Was and it scary? Oh yes, definitely. It's a big undertaking, and in today's day, you know, it's like, you don't know. All right. Shops when did eight, you open? May 15th, so my eight month anniversary was Tuesday. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Why did, there's so many different things here, from fabrics to, um, to pottery, as you said, to clothing. Where, where, where do your vendors come from? All over the place. Um, I try as much as possible to buy from small business. Where does Tracy find her artists? Um, actually, there is a, a site that I belong to that's all artists and it's basically just something they sign up for and they can put their portfolio in there and it has their information. So I just look up everything in there, find what I like, contact the artist and order straight through them. That's great. Yeah, it's a really great resource. The shop isn't very big, but you're going to need some time to shop here because everywhere you look, there's something unique and special. All right, so this is a new line I just got in last week. So this is some pottery by Bruce Larrabee Ceramics. He's out of Utah. He does beautiful glazes. I love how you know he has two different colors that kind of swirl in the middle. This one he calls the grab bowl because it's perfect for your hands so your fingers don't go in the food. Isn't it beautiful? I love the, uh, the bowl with the Chinese yes. with the chopsticks. Yes, yep, their rice bowl. I love that one too. Tracy, these are beautiful. Yeah, these I love. So these are all cutting boards that are handmade by a gentleman in Maine. Um, they're all different types of wood that are put together and each one actually says on it, you know, this one's ash and walnut, mahogany and padonk. Um, they just make a great housewarming gift or an engagement gift for a new couple. They're just kind of a statement piece for your kitchen. You could use it as a cheese board for entertaining and these do very well. Want a gorgeous candle? Vance Katira is a candle line I carry. They have tapers, they have pillars. My best seller are pear-shaped candles. That line is really great. They're a really good quality candle. When they're lit, they glow. The entire candle glows, which is really pretty. And then there are these mugs. Not just any mugs. These are called hand warmer mugs. But instead of a handle, you have a pocket. So you put your hand in there and you kind of hug it. These sell so fast. This shipment just came in the other day. They won't last very long. Um, just They're very different and the fact that they're made in the U.S., um, handmade, they fly out of here. I get calls all the time asking if there's any left and usually it's a no because um, everyone just thinks they're very unique and they have left-handed and right-handed. Oh, that's clever. Yes. There's also original artwork throughout the store. Some are of local places. This is an oil painting by Jean Watson, who's a resident in town here. And this is of Pistol Creek, which is a uh, town-owned land that we have here that's for hiking. And she does beautiful work. I have about five different artists right now that I have in store. Um, I have watercolor, I have oil paintings, I have a photographer that does some ink work and embellishes the photos. It is really pretty. Tracy spends a lot of time here at her new shop, making sure everything is perfect for her customers. I'm hoping, you know, in the future to expand. I have artwork um, from local artists, so I'd like to expand into kind of a gallery. And I also have um, some people that I've talked to locally that make furniture, custom furniture. Nice. So that's my goal, is to have the home decor and gift shop um, that is just like it is now, a lot of gifts and artisan products, but then expand where I can do really more of a gallery with handmade um, furniture. 
All right, what's it's also beautiful. nice about, isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. so especially those, God, those wood carvings. All right, what's also nice about Tracy's business, a lot of the artists she buys from give a portion of their proceeds to different charitable causes. Very nice, and if you would like to visit Tracy at the Dragonfly, she's located right at 1064 Farmington Avenue in Kensington. Please tell them Better Connecticut sent you. You mm -hmm. can also check out her website. It's dragonfly-ct.com.